Billboard. Billboard Philippines. Volumes. On this episode of Billboard Philippines Volumes, we have Asia's Phoenix, Morris said on the show today. She talks about what she's been working on, tells us more about underdog music and her songwriting. Let's turn up the volume on Morris said. Billboard. Billboard Philippines. Volumes. Yeah, well, hello everyone and welcome to a very special episode of of Billboard Philippines Volumes where we turn up the volume on your favorite artist stories. And today we are with People's Choice uh, Wardy for Billboard Philippines Women in Music, uh, platinum selling artist, Sorry. Asia's <laughs> Phoenix. <laughs> Yeah, I know you've heard of her. We're here with Morissette today. Yay. Thank you for being here today. No, thank you for having yeah. me. Hello, everybody. Well, for some people that don't know, this is like, uh, I'm, I'm excited about this because it's a bit of a mini reunion. It is. I know we've seen yes. each other a few times since, but mm -hmm. people may not know we've known each other for a while back. Quite. We're doing a lot of those stints with Dep Ed. Yep. And uh, I mean, I'm still little. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing much changed. Still little heels, na lang ganun. But uh, yeah, it's been a while. It's been a while. You know what? I why why I'm bringing this up is mm -hmm. because one thing I remember us talking about way back then was passion for Bisaya music yeah. and Bisaya culture. Mm -hmm. I'd like everyone to know that's watching this today that you have always been a avid champion of that, Aww. and we've been seeing that with your latest like some of your latest releases yes, yes. so maybe we could talk about that right now and uh mm -hmm. tell us a little bit about these songs and mm -hmm. why did you choose to put it in bisaya and what does that mean to you yes actually um i've only really started working on um putting out bisaya music lately na lang. Yep. before it was just more of you know people giving me songs to interpret yes. and um and of course there's the ballads that people yeah. give me and, and trust me from all the different songwriters and as a Cebuana at that time I just wanted to I guess make a mark in the industry whether yeah. um you know just to have put my own name out there we had to, but definitely. that's like the one of the starting points of of one's career especially for a singer yeah. now Especially in our country, you know, there's just so many amazing <laughs> During that artists. During time, pa, yeah. Diba? <laughs> yeah, na yeah. ang dami talagang magagaling sa bansa natin. How can you stand out, diba? Uh -huh. And so, like for me, it was just, um, and I, 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 I like to recall na one of the, one of my earliest um, memories with my family before, even before I got into my career, or started yeah. my career, was sabi ng dad ko na, Alam mo, Seth, it just takes one song. Mabigyan ka lang ng isang hit song. That's the truth. Diba? Ma ma masimulan ka lang yan. Mm -hmm. That's gonna open a lot of doors. And it did for me. Yeah. It was uh, Akin Ka Na Lang from uh, Himig Handog back in 2020, 2014. Before that, I did The Voice. It didn't win. I did a yeah. lot of TV competitions. didn't win. Um, even that song, Sa Himig Handog, didn't win also. Mm. Pero... I guess a lot of people were able to resonate with the song, and they gravitated yeah, it towards really, it. it really, it really opened a lot of doors for me. Mm -hmm. um, in ako ng asap, so I'm just, I've just always been so grateful that that one song happened, yeah. and of course, the follow up na rin of all the other um, s songs after the originals yeah. na binigay na sa akin and eventually formed into a mini EP with Star Music before. Mm -hmm. um, and so, in that time, parang Yun, yun lang naman yung go ko na was just to sing. Kahit ano ibigay sa akin, go, Kerry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Kantahin ko. Kaya naman yung mga notes na binibigay, mga high notes. O sige, laban. Mga whistle. O sige, laban, go. Yeah. <laughs> Mapatunayan lang na I can sing, guys. I, I, will, I will push through it, di ba? And uh, yun, the rest is history. And then during the pandemic, ayun nga, me and my friends decided to um, start Underdog Music. Wait, I have to yeah. stop you there because okay, <laughs> I know we're in the middle. We're in the middle Sorry, of a I'm question so, already. I have a noodle brain, now, Pero, so I'm just gonna be like that, like that. <laughs> I just want to say, like, I want to take a second because underdog music is very special. You mm -hmm. guys have a lot of great artists. You're doing a lot of great things right now. We'll go back to the <laughs> original question, <laughs> we'll but right now, let's <laughs> let's open this up real quick. Yes. Tell me about underdog music. Laid out for me. Uh, you are the. Uh huh. You are the. One of the. One of the. Kami, one of the. I know. Founders of Underdog Music. Yes, which is. It's a, it's a new label. Yes. It's an independent label, and. 
Personally, what I love about it is just how kami, coming mga mag friends yeah. and mag founders, we come from different parts of the industry. Yes. And which is syempre, important. Which is which is really nice because we get to complement each other. We learn from each other's stories mm-hmm. and advices. And where I was coming from, now I've always been mainstream for the longest time. Yeah. Um, for you know, like artists go through different things, yes. different um experiences in their career. Um, in my career, I've of course, I've just always been so grateful about all the things that happened to me in the past decade. Of course. Like, di, di na mawala yun. I'm, I'm just always so grateful for that. All the music that was interested to me. Because yes. I only also just started songwriting nung pandemic lang din, mm-hmm. along with Underdog. Um, but I guess what I wanted to do and the reason why I switched, oh, switched over and started Underdog with my friends was because I wanted to just step outside of the box and do... Mm-hmm. S- do like music that hindi yung I guess expected from me. Yes. Kasi wala lang parang especially during the pandemic na there weren't a lot of events mm-hmm. and sh- a lot of artists were also just trying to they were scrambling on what else can we do. Yes. And for me during that time it was um doing the live streams on the different um platforms, different social media apps, platforms, yeah. mm-hmm. apps. And a lot of the feedback that I've gotten just doing covers in my piano. Hindi naman ako super keyboard player, pero guys, live. This is what happens with live. It's super we'll raw, diba? It. It oh, we'll take it. At home. We love I don't it. have my band here with me. Yeah, yeah. Ako lang to. Yeah. Magkamali tayo, okay lang yan. Yeah. Ako tanggap ko, okay lang yan. Kasi it's live, eh. Yun yun. Uh-uh. Parang ang feedback naman nila is, grabe kahit anong kantahin ni Mori, maganda pa rin pala. Kahit hindi siya bumirit, maganda pa rin pala. So, yes. when I I got feedback like that, parang you know, napag-usapan namin din ni Dave. Of course, it started between us na parang, mm-hmm. maybe we should try to expand more also. Mm-hmm. Um, and songwriting was something na I wanted to do before. Before even go. the pandemic. Yeah. Pero I didn't act on it kasi I didn't see it as a priority for me at the time. Na, syempre, ang daming advice us also from seasoned artists na nagsasabi na you should also, you should also start songwriting. Mm-hmm. Kasi, syempre, iba yung stories na galing talaga sa'yo, it melodies na galing sa'yo. Uh-huh. At that time, hindi pa ako confident. Na parang, I would try. Yeah. Pero, yun nga, I have a noodle brain. So parang, it's all in here. I have all these ideas, but I just don't know how to start that mm-hmm. and put it onto paper and so it was only until I had the actual time and space to sit down and collaborate also with Dave first with my husband and and we I know we made a bunch of songs also and sabi ko pwede kaya pala kaya ko pala <laughs> kaya ko naman pala and so it started with that putting out English songs naman mm-hmm. because I also saw that there was a clamor for more English songs for me. Yes. Just because the originals that were put out um, with Star Music before were all Tagalog. Yeah. I guess also because as a Cebuana, when I was starting, I would always just speak in English or not speak at yeah, all. Yeah, that's, that's Kasi, very... Kasi, alam mo, we're not... <laughs> hindi ako confident mag-Tagalog. Yung Tagalog ko pang aklat. Pang aklat! <laughs> ang luma ng pang, pang school. Kasi, I, I'm not sure. Kasi, I was I'm, in special <laughs> class for Tagalog. So Dude, like, same. I was in the same. back with all the other porn games. Diba? <laughs> Eh, eh, lalo na ako na parang oh taga si Buka, why can't you yeah. speak in, ano, eh, I always it's explain. It's either English or Bisaya. Like, diba? let's be real. And in Pero, Cebu, yeah. it's just, it's an hour lang sa school. And yeah. even buwan ng wika, Sige, that's a whole month, pero hindi pa strict. Yeah. Kasi sa school namin, where I went to, pag you can't speak in vernacular or you will pay a fine. Yeah. Diba? So, wala. Mas English talaga yung nakasanayan uh, ko. So, uh, I wrote in English first. Um, but of course, ayun, parang sabi ko, that's something also that I haven't done in my career naman, was to actually express and parang remind people that I am from the South also. Yes. Also, diba? I am from the South. And so, I've, I heard from my best friend one time na, sabi niya, Seth, have you been listening to this pop? At, at this time, hindi pa, hindi pa siya as Gets, loud. Yeah. Pero, syempre, siya, based in Cebu, they have been hearing about it. And sabi ko, no, hindi pa. Bakit? Sabi niya, ang ganda ng mga songs. Like, mm. mapaproud, mapaproud, nakakaproud na there's music like that that's coming from, that's in Bisaya, yeah. coming from the South. And so, and then slowly it became, it started to, umiingay na siya. Mm-hmm. May mga songs na nakakarating na din sa radio stations dito sa Manila. And I've always, I've had some, uh, I became fans also of some Cebuano artists. Yep. 
And so yun, we reached out to collaborate with them on some songs and finally ayun, nakapag, we were able for now we were able to put out two Bisaya songs. And wala well, lang like full it's circle. full circle siya yeah. na I'm able to also pay tribute to my roots at the same time help out amazing songwriters, musicians and artists that are over there in the south. I love the so, story yeah. so far because there's definitely a way to look at it where it's you come into this and you're the artist and you know you have a lot of ideas and a lot of creativity and mm. but a lot of these companies have to take a bet mm-hmm. on you yeah. in the first place. Mm-hmm. They have to, you know, they're they're going to try it out and mm-hmm. lucky or not you may be able to do that thing you actually wanted to do or not. Yes. That's yes. that's really the reality of it. Mm-hmm. But you put in the work you did have hard work plus blessings they came together mm-hmm. and it created a big career for you to be able to say okay now i can go off and maybe expand my skills mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so songwriting running a label working with more artists yeah to go to an even more ultimate goal where it's like connecting back to your roots mm-hmm. putting out Helping beside, artists doing all these things that you've always wanted to do mm-hmm. but getting to enjoy the journey the whole time. Honestly, that's the goal na for me right now. Because before, when I was younger, of course, one the very goal long is just to be able to sing. Yes. Kahit anong platform, saan man, I just want to sing. Reach a goal. Diba? Reach a goal. Next goal. And then I'm glad na yun, and daming opportunities na nangyari. I was able to actually make those um, goals happen. Yes. Dreams were coming true. And even yung mga, mga, mga nangyari na I didn't even dream of, but it just happened. Like, mga collaborations with Disney. I didn't think I'd be able to yeah. actually make meet Ellen Mankin and Will Smith. <laughs> yes. like, Hello. Una, dati, when you're younger, you're just watching them from movies and hearing their music. Those were, um, I didn't even, I didn't even have that in the back of my mind, but it still happened. And so I'm just super, super grateful. That's why I always be grateful for the decade that I had, the first decade that I had in my career. First. And so, and that's only the first. It's only the first. And so, parang ako now, my main goal is, of course, to grow na more. Yes. To grow more as an artist. And syempre, people also forget na different artists want different things. Mm-hmm. There are artists na they want to, their goal is to get as much awards as they can. Yeah. Get as much recognition. There are artists also that maybe they just want to be able to sing and and yung parang help their families. Yeah. And ako right now I'm in I'm in the point in my life and my career na I want to sing and put out music just because I enjoy it and I love it. And everything that happens after that, yung benefit of yeah, you know, like financial and whatever bonus na lang yun. Yep. I'm just grateful na after all of that. I'm still here. Opportunity opportunities are still coming in, and so, yun. How important is it? Because I mean, you have a lot of a lot of audience and a lot of people that have followed you through your career, but also have stuck by you mm. throughout. Whether it's friends, family, fans, fans. of your music, mm. how important is that in in a longevity sense of a career mm-hmm. in music? Very important. It is very important. Um, actually, just recently, I had a get together with my fans, yep. mga Moe Natics, and I haven't seen them in a while, mm-hmm. just because like er, the early part of this year, I've just been doing so much, and mm-hmm. I haven't even had a lot of open, I like yung mga public shows that they can go to. So it was the first time that I've um, caught up with everyone, and parang it's so heartwarming to see na a lot of the fame. Faces that I was that I grew up with, yes. mga fans ko na dati nandun pa din. And of course, may mga bagong faces na mga may mga anak na yung iba, wow. may mga bit bit ng joy iba. Yes. <laughs> so parang nag evolve na rin sila. And I'm just so happy na they were also able to find their own family in that mm-hmm. fans club. Na kahit na wala akong ganap nagkumustahan na sila ng sila lang. Yep. Like they were able to form their own communities and friendships um, through the events that they would go to support me. Yeah. Um, and so, I, yun, from that recent encounter with them, it's just very heartwarming to see that they're still there. And ako, I, and I, I always like to share this. I think it's also just very important that you're surrounded by the right people. Mm-hmm. 
um, for me in the beginning of my career, I am so grateful and happy that that was my family. Yes. That was my family for me. Shepre, even from Cebu, sila naman talaga yun. Yeah. And then um, sacrificing our life in Cebu, coming to Manila. Not it was me and my mom first. It, yes. And then my dad <laughs> followed. And then my brother followed. Hanggat sa we were able to parang make a home that in here. Mm-hmm. And even fast forward to my brother got married recently. Can wow. you believe? No? Congratulations. <laughs> my younger brother got ano and. Even with all of that also, with everything that happened, especially during the pandemic, na, there was this whole family thing that happened with me and it went online. I'm actually super happy to also share a praise report that we're okay now with my family. That's I'm amazing news. To, with them. Na, and they're na sila sa, oh, they're doing your career. Mo. Yeah. Because, diba? of course, it's one thing to just see the things that are online, but uh-huh. there's a deeper ano pa to that. Definitely. So there's, there's a lot of catching up to do. Yeah. But I just, I feel that peace na they're there again at arm's length. Yes. And of course, yun, ngayon, yung team ko, yung team ko, underdog, yeah. who are not, they're not just my label, they're also my management. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, <it is. laughs> trying to call the shots, trying to be a boss lady and just collaborating with everyone in the team. It's It's been great. But it's it's so important nga na you're with like my, I feel like, it's so important that you're with like-minded people and people who actually get you and really want to support your vision. It just makes it a lot easier, I feel. For me as an artist, na parang, if, example, yung goal ko is to grow more as an artist, parang, if my, I feel like my team isn't really full, like head-on gets yung vision ko, magka-clash eh. Yeah. But with, with me and with Underdog now, it's like, they just get it and they just, they've just allowed for me to just Sige, go, kahit anong gawin mo, ilabas mo yung this kind of music, di ba? You want to start producing, go, do it. Go. And, expand. Yeah, it's nakaka, ano talaga? Nakaka-expand talaga. Yes. <laughs> so, I'm able to try and explore and do a lot of things now. And, and I've just been super grateful that there's still so many people na also still trust me. Na yes. I'm always gonna deliver with whatever I put out there, with the performances that I do. Na kahit na it's kind of not the same sound, hindi na yung kanun kataas talaga. Pero <laughs> alam mong, grabe, mas may puso na. Yes. Kasi syempre nagmamature na rin. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. It's, it's great to know, like, you have your family in your corner. Mm. You have your team in your corner. Mm. You have your fans in your corner. You're expanding, you're learning more. You're expanding your skills. You're putting yourself out there more and... There's just so much ahead of you. And with that being said, can you let us know about some of the things <laughs> that I, I'm working on? You're working on right now. That segue. Come on, give it to me for that one. <laughs> I know. Actually, I, I even I would even go out there to say na medyo na overwhelm ko yung sarili ko. Trying to fit everything into just a timeline. Na I realized parang hindi pala natin kaya. Because it's too much work. Especially especially now na, of course, like with Underdog, we're, we're in an independent label. We're, st- we're a very small team. Yeah. And even for me, parang now that I'm a lot more hands-on, that's a lot, it need, it requires a lot of brain power to yes. be very, very honest. And so, but some of the things that I have been working on is I just finished a film with, um, they're called, um, the, the production group is called the Culture Teen. Culture Teen? Entertainment. But they're the same people who work on Ang Larawan. Okay. So I worked on a film with them and it's called Song of the Fireflies. It has been out. Naman. Wow. There is a trailer that we put out in 2019. We were supposed to film the whole thing in 2020. Yeah. But, of yeah. course, the pandemic. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the pandemic. And so, um, <laughs> pero nag na kami last year. We finally okay. resumed awesome. it. It's currently in the works. It has music by National Artist for Music, Mr. Ryan Payabiav, Mr. Louis Ocampo. Of course. Amazing, amazing songwriters and legends part of this movie. And and for me, Brett, I, it really hits home for me also. Closer to home, mm. neighbor, because it features the story of the Lobok Children's Choir. Okay, can from you tell Bohol. me? Okay, tell me so a little bit about them. The Lobok Children's Choir, they're a children's choir na have been competing mm. internationally. Like they're known internationally. Okay. Um, but they, they just they sound so beautiful. Yeah. As in like parang natural reverb sila. <laughs> and they're, they're just so in sync. Uh-huh. Ang ganda. Um 
but they're called the Lobok Children's Choir because they're from the province of Lobok, Bohol. Okay. Which is, it's more known for the river, the parang emerald green okay. river in, Lobok, yeah. in um, Bohol. And so, ayun, they compete internationally and basically this film kind of talks about how that started mm. um, with the founder and they entrusted me to, to portray the founder, si Ma'am Alma. That's so cool. Taldo. So, sabi ko, and then of course, they wanted a Bisaya Ar, um, of course, art, of course. Artist. Yes, yes. So, oh, sige, go. Sige. Eh, my first, my first film, ha. Huh? Pwede ako. Sige, wait lang. Um, hindi ba ako super art artista? Pero sige, uh, we'll sige train lang, for sige it. Lang. Sige try lang. Na to. Eh, try na to. Lino man po. <laughs> it was fun. It was great. And of course, the kids. We even have cast in the movie na yung kids talaga. Mm -mm. Hindi lang lahat oh. puro actors. Okay, okay. So, syempre, magugulat ka na parang, alam mong mga... Mga ano to, mga students. True mga story, children. true people. <laughs> true people talaga, sila talaga. I mean, siyempre, generations yeah, yeah, before, gets, gets, gets. Gets. Pero sila talaga. Yeah. And in fairness, like, may mga marunong talagang umarte. Mm. And siyempre, sobrang raw yung emotion because they know how that feels to be competing. Yeah. So, I'm very excited for it to be put out. So that's one thing I we have worked on. We are super excited for that. Thank <laughs> yeah, you for Song of the sharing. Fireflies. And then I will be starting another film soon naman. Yun, I can't disclose it's, for it's you fine. It's fine. It's yes, fine. Yes, but I am going to be starting on another one also soon. Okay. Um, hanggang doon na lang muna. <laughs> Kasi ayoko nga, ayoko nga, ayoko nga, i-preempt. Pero I feel like it's also a big opportunity. But I guess a hint to it is it also kind of puts a spotlight on my roots. Okay. As a Cebuana. Yes. So, and I'm just super surprised na yung mga opportunities na, di ba? Yes. Na ito, I'm, right now, I'm, I'm trying to help um, Vispop and the, our Visaya artists from Visaya and Mindanao. representation is important. Oh, oh. Yes. I mean, I'm not the first one to no, do it. Not. There's so many um, mainstream artists that are based here in Manila who have been championing. Ano, Where what's diba? important is you're part of that movement. And oh, you're part and we help of put the a people. spotlight yes. diba, on them. It, it, it's not about who's doing it first and who's yes. doing it better. The, the point is you're doing it. Yes, and we're helping out. And yes. we're paying tribute. Exactly. Because dami, dami we already know that there's a lot of amazing artists in Manila yes. or in Luzon. Imagine mo Anywhere. Lang, diba, dun pa sa south, diba, lilipad ka lang ng one hour, sibu ka na. Exactly. <sighs> Mga singers dun, ay nako, <laughs> they be joke for breakfast. I'm sitting with one of them. <laughs> <laughs> diba, gigising lang sila, hihikab lang, umaawit na. O yeah. sige, paano tayo, ano, <laughs> lalaban dyan, diba? Pero, I mean, that's the reality. Two-thirds of our country is Bisaya. That's true. Diba, we forget that. So parang, why not also put the spotlight there? Yeah. And, and I'm so happy na yun, like, sila JK, and of course, KZ and TJ mm -hmm. have, been, have been putting out Bisaya music for so long. But I'm just so happy na it's more recognized now, especially here exactly. in Manila. And I, 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 I just feel like they deserve the recognition talaga. Yes. And we're here to be helping them out also. Yes. So to Thank be a part of that, that, it's great. It's great. Movies are on the way. Bisaya <laughs> representation. Should. Music naman. Music, yes. What, what can we expect? I am, I have been working on a new album na, ganun, yun yung connect, yun yung start actually. I have been working on a new album na, um, I guess, not naman all the songs are in Bisaya, pero it is paying tribute to my roots as yes. a Cebuana. Okay. And to me, being a Cebuana is, ako, primary, feeling ko, primarily in Cebu kasi, it's really more Bisaya English. Yes. Like we really speak more English more than any other province, I feel. And so, we, this is an album na, it's, Cebuano. It's Cebuano na it's Bisaya in English. Mm -hmm. And we have a lot of collaborations there also. Um, is this... So it's it's about your roots. It's about your culture. Mm, it, or paying tribute to. Yeah. What what can we... like? Ex how many tracks are you looking at? Um, a full album. Full hopefully. Oh, oh, hindi lang EP. A full album. On when, when, when? When? Ba? When? Huh? When? When? I mean, I was hoping this year. But I'll, I was hoping, but I don't know. I hope na lang muna siya. Gusto na lang muna natin hanggat sa ano? Kasi Pero, also, Brett, uh, I didn't want to ano. I didn't want to rush art. No. I didn't want to rush have art. To. Yes, yun na nga eh. You don't have so, to. Parang, um, before before I even got into underdog, working with mm. underdog, I never saw kasi the production process of putting out the yes, song. Yes. Kasi dadating lang ako sa studio tapos na yung song. Yeah. <laughs> tapos kanta ka dun. Siguro konting fine tuning na lang. Nalabas na lang yung kanta. Yeah. So when I started collaborating with Dave on how it 
is talaga to create a song and the patience it takes. Like, it's very humbling. Yeah. And it's very eye-opening, especially for me na I thought I knew what the process was, but hindi pala talaga. Or that much more rewarding. Yes. And so, parang ngayon, I am working on this album with my team. Parang I just want to take my time and not just rush it. Even, even parang I don't want to just finish it in a week. I don't want to just finish it in a month. Because I've had instances like my recent release, hindi naman Bisaya, um, yung Wishing Well. Yeah. Um, it's a recent release of mine, itong February. And when we were in the studio, when Dave and I were in the studio to record this song, we thought it was done. Mm. Pero... After ko na record yung vocals, yung parang sabi ko sa kanya, babe, parang may kulang. Mm. Tapos right there in there, and it was one of those rare moments na I was in the studio but I wanted to write. Usually, I don't want to sabay those things because mm-hmm. for me. But it was one of those rare moments na we were, we were currently recording the song and then we had the idea to add this whole bridge na parang chant. And then, ayun. Studio and then magic, the song was it just done. happened. Pero I feel like if we just settled na, hindi tapusin na natin agad nito. Parang hindi siguro tayo super, hindi kami na satisfied or we wouldn't really be happy with the product we put out. So, and it was also a, I guess a saying that we learned from Mr. Jay Durias na Dave and I got Shout to work with Jay. before. Uh-oh. Siya mismo nagsabi na you can't rush art. You can't. So, I mean, it's great to and have… And when it comes from him, that diba? you listen. Alam mo naman, yun, you listen. Diba? Like, <laughs> All ears. J. Durias yan. J. Durias. Represent din yun. Taga, taga Davao. Yeah, taga Bisaya Davao. Pa uh-uh. So parang, ayun, ano, parang sabi namin, I mean, it's great to have deadlines. Diba? Yes. It's great to have goals. It's great to have like set dates. Pero, I feel like, I also want to start and I feel like there's also a certain kind of magic when you just let it run its course naturally. It's it's true. I mean, you, you went through the first decade and you gave everything and you did everything to get as to where you possible. are now for the second decade. <laughs> and the second decade is where you get to let your art just happen. And you get yeah. to take your time. It's very and you humbling. get to do it your way. Na even ako, di ako sanay. Yeah, pero <laughs> na parang that's na, great. Na inis din ako. Kasi hindi, yun nga, it's not something I was used to. Uh-huh. And so it really takes a lot of sh- mindset shift uh-huh. to go through this process. Now, I'm kind of like walking, kind of walking backwards with it. Na dati, diretso na nandun sa destination. Ngayon, I'm actually enjoying and I'm in the journey and enjoying it. Might as well. So, go lang, yeah. diba? Learning process and um, yun, masaya just being able to actually understand that. And with that, yun, I'm able to also help other artists kasi naintindihan ko na siya na ah, ganyan pala talaga. <laughs> ganyan pala well, talaga. I, I love it. I mean, You've had such a big career already. Like the career you started with could already last most people's entire careers. But you're only getting started. You have a new album on the way. You got movies on the way. You're helping new artists. You're raising this label with your friends. (laughs) You're back with your family. I'm just so happy for you. Thank you. I'm so happy for you. I know your fans and the audience are definitely excited for what you do. Keep going in that direction. Enjoy it. Love it. We'll be here to support you. Um, I think this is a beautiful place to stop today. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you. Um, check out the podcast on YouTube, <laughs> Spotify, anywhere that you can find our socials. We're on all the platforms. Yeah. You'll find it. But thank you again for being here today. Thank um, you, friend. Dagkang salamat. Dagkang <laughs> Thank you. Salamat. This has been Billboard Philippines Volumes with Morissette. Billboard Philippines.